do not go further. Why is it there's always either security or certain death? What did you hear? Boys. Is that every time I'm not looking at it, it goes, look, again, the second I stopped looking at it, it went straight down to zero. Maybe it's a warning that we shouldn't be coming this way. Stop if you turn the guys and welcome back to Tear the Veil. So today we are going to Wailing Woods, but we are not just going to Wailing Woods, we are doing a complete overnight challenge, which is probably not the best thing to do when it's minus two degrees in winter, but me and Dan will be doing a complete overnight. If you have seen last week's video, this is part two of that. So I'm having to film the intro in post-edit just because the one that me and Dan filmed whilst we was out there has seemingly vanished from the camera. Uh, but Wailing Woods is apparently a place where back in the day, down that entire road, down Warnington Lane, there was a horse and cart that went down and they kind of went off into the ditch, as you'll see later on, you'll see exactly where we mean. It went down into the ditch, uh, the horse died and the guy riding it died, I think his wife was also there uh, and I think it took her a while to die but people can still say that they can hear the horses hooves coming down the road they can hear the woman screaming sometimes so we're going to go and find out if there's anything there but we're not just going for a little bit, we're going to do the whole overnight to make sure that we get as much content as we physically can. So if you enjoy this overnight, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and look out for more videos just like this one. Let us know if you want to do more overnights. But anyway, let's get into it. That's not a good step. Danger. Forestry. Well, three falls on us tonight. Right, so not only have we got to look out for wolves, Possibly ghosts. Have you ever seen a wolf in this country? It's not impossible. Improbable? You're more likely to get foxes. Yeah. I'm not scared of foxes. Stop. Do not go further. Why is it there's always either security or certain death? I am looking at these trees and having flashbacks. <laughs> this is very much reminding me of the Blair Witch Forest. Yeah, I see that on my first thought. But the trees aren't as creepy here, you can actually see through them. Also, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but that's not fog or anything else like that. It is just our breath because it is that cold. Let's have a look exactly how cold it is, shall we? We do this so you don't have to. Oh, I'll just point out when we said that we're doing an overnight as well, it's currently like just gone midnight, I believe. Oh, we've got frost on the ground. Yeah, it normally freezes at what, three degrees? Two degrees! Two. Oh my god. We're out in two degrees. Overnight. I'm starting to rethink that. Okay, can you smell it? No, my the sense smell of smell of like, is dead. The smell of like chopped down trees, like recently chopped down trees. You know, like sawdust. Yeah. So, so why are we always aimed at like pending danger? Like, just for a bit of context for the guys watching this video, about two hours ago before we started filming this, we tried to film another video and got caught by security and the police was almost called and now we're going to a woods that could potentially kill us. Not to mention the almost certain, uh, well I reckon it had been a broken neck if we'd have actually fallen off the place. Because oh, it was yeah. frosty on the roof as well. Yeah. So for anyone who's thinking about following our footsteps and doing this sort of thing, one, don't, we're dim enough so watch our videos. <laughs> and two, be safe. It's weirdly silent in here. What we're looking for. So I heard something over there, and I heard something over there. What kind of something? I don't know, like rustling, so I just want to establish that it's not like a bird or something like that before. It's a snowy piece of wood. It's a shroom wood. Yeah. Dinner. <laughs> See, I told you I'd find food. What did you hear? Like a voice. Like a child's voice, I want to say. 
I didn't hear anything myself. Yeah. To be fair, you was talking at the time. My hearing's terrible though. Anyway, that's what I was about to say. So remember before we even started this channel, we went to a woods and we found those like nooses hanging. Yeah. That's in that direction. Oh. It's not part of these woods, but it's the next woods over from these woods. Oh, so we're in a similar kind of area. Yeah. That was like a 0.8. Oh, wow. So maybe I did hear something before. Oh, apparently I did. Two. 2.3 Keep making it go higher for us It's gone back up again 2.3 Come on, keep trying Keep going Go on, go on, keep It'll going, go keep going. It's, uh, It stopped at 2.6 then Just to point out that I'm not making it up if you can see that and That's Now I've turned it away from myself So is it actually, is it still showing it? Yeah, I've got 1.8 Yeah So. Oh, it's steady though it, yeah, it's holding, and there's nothing around us. Like we are literally in the middle of wood, like a mile into the middle of. The, it stopped. Oh no, it's going back up again. Why did you stop when I stopped looking at you? Oh, so this thing's lying to me because it thinks it's seven degrees. That's <laughs> a lie. I tell by my breath though, it definitely isn't. I don't think it freezes until it's like three, four degrees, does it? If I don't know we were going to come like somewhere we've got no idea how to get back, I'd have brought a compass, at least. Honestly? Yeah. Didn't think it was this big. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Still holding, it's dropped quite a bit, but it's holding, like it keeps, oh it's going up again. Ooh, three point. Oh, that's a lot higher. 3.3. .3. Literally, as soon as I said it's holding steady but it's low, it then jumped right up. 1.6 and the second I stepped up to this, stopped. Oh. Instantly. So that looks like some kind of man-made shelter, right? Yeah, man-made shelter. If there's somebody there... Yes, it's good again. Come on, if you something there, can you use more energy than that? Use some of our energy. Oh, it's going up, 3.3. Can I use more of our energy? Try and set this off if you can. Try and get those numbers higher. The higher you go, it'll go red and it'll start making a noise. If you're the voice... a lot higher if, you, if you've got something to show us. If I did hear a voice earlier, can you set this off if it's you that's there? Can you drop it down to zero if you're trying to warm me or something else? It's like a slow steady it's drop. It's still holding steady though, isn't it? And literally as soon as I turned around it stopped for a second and then went straight back up. Because like every time I'm not looking at it, it goes... Look, again. The second I stopped looking at it, it went straight down to zero. Wait, while I'm looking at it... Look away. Yeah. <laughs> and then look. It went to zero as you looked at it, that was weird. Did you, so it's not just me then? No. So it does keep doing that, the second I look away... Yeah. 1.92, right, so if I'm looking away... What's it at? It's still going, it's going higher, 3.2. Look at it... Uh, slowly dropping. Still slowly dropping as I'm looking at it. It's a bit that's, weird. That's weird. Unless it's me. What do you mean? You hold it. But it points up, remember? Huh? It points up, remember? Yeah. So the sensor, it, it sees what's above the meter right now. Right. What's it at? It's pretty much zero. So it was at three when I had hold of it and I passed it to you, it's gone to zero. Wow, that's interesting. Not point nine, just dropped again. Is it me? Zero? Flat zero, not moving. Is it me? Hmm. What's the odds of them in something in the air? 
in the middle of a forest. Like what? To be honest, we're in the middle of a forest. What's around us? We are the only tech. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're probably, We've not seen any machinery or anything. We're probably half a mile away from anything in any direction. Can't see nothing that way, nothing that way. I don't even want to know what's that way because all I can see is trees. In fact, that way you can't even see the road anymore. That's how far away we are from the road. Have we had any activity on that yet? Or is it still up in your bounds? When I last looked it was at like 0.1 and the second you said it, it said 1.6. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Okay, that's the third time I've heard to it. Let's go that way then. You just want to try to figure out where we are. I'll be in some um, field, dude. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, how's that going? It was on five points. Literally point stopped as soon as I turned camera to it. It was literally five points something. You want us to go back in? Okay. Three points went that way. 0.8. point eight. 3.6, so back the way we came. Yeah. 8.6 that way. So, this is the first time that we've actually been able to get directed by the damn thing. But it was working that's on... If what, that's what's happening. But it was working <clears> on an <throat> axis, because that way was zero. That way was zero. That was three point something. That was three point something. Alright. So, unless it's working on like an axis. 3.7. And it's holding perfectly still. And as soon as I said that, it's lost. <laughs> of course it did. Am I the only person here in the things? Yeah. My hearing's shot, dude. Could be animals on the end of it. More than likely is. Have you seen any yet? No, because it's night time. You don't really see them during the day. There's nobody there, is there? Because unless I'm hearing things, there's two voices. Hello? Hello? Okay, let's go. Are you actually hearing voices, Rob? Yeah, I heard two voices. I have to have a look, look back through the footage, man, see if you picked up. There's a guy talking to another bloke. Maybe it's us. Awesome. We've travelled in time. We're chasing ourselves around and trapped in the woods forever. It's not just an overnight stay. It's the rest of your life stay. I mean, and there's a twist at the end where it turns out we're both actually dead. We just don't know it. But I'm just dead inside. Are you still getting anything on EMF? 3.9. What, in that direction? Yep. See, now I'm, I'm thinking, oh, oh see. See, I'm heading in the right direction. This is not good. What? You're hearing voices. Yep. And then, as soon as we mention it, it goes up to four. Thanks. Going this way then, yeah? 4.4, 4.5, 4.7. I'll keep going this way, shall I? 4.9. Wow, that's the longest it's gone so far. 4.3. Okay. Now it's rare that we've had one go that long. <laughs> oh, you can do better. Come on. <coughs> this ghost is a machine. Can I just point out that we're heading deeper into all these chopped down trees and that? Maybe it's a warning that we shouldn't be coming this way. What? Stop if you try to warn us. No. <laughs> No. Should we go back the way we came? Push it back up to four if you can. Three point five. Oh, you said is that not Christmas tree? Oh, could be yeah. That's what the trees are. It's pine, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're chopping it down for Christmas trees. Which, by the smells way, smells amazing. Happy holidays. 3.9 Hey We're lost <laughs> Now we're just at the other end of woods 
That solves it. Next time I'm bringing a compass. I've just got steady zero now or nothing. Did you hear that? What? I heard something woods over that way. To the, to the uh, uh, that way. Yeah, I heard something like there. But if you're saying there. <coughs> what did you hear? Just to clarify. Um, it sounded as if a twig fell on the ground. Right, because I heard like walking or rustling or something. Because I heard like three or four of them. All right. Okay. So. I think I'd rather follow yours because the trees aren't exactly doing well down here. There was a voice straight away. It's always a good sign. Excuse me, is it really quiet? It does seem it, but we have got a bit more like background noise up here. So this is where the... Uh, the guy supposedly went into the ditch, right? Yeah, so story has it that a guy went into this ditch somewhere along here with these woods, uh, with his horse and cart. People say that they can still hear the horse and cart coming down the road. You can hear him screaming, or a woman screaming, which is why it's known as Wailing Woods. So if those people are here to communicate with us today, could you do so? We'll just point out as well, it's now gone 3am, so one, it's very cold, and two, we're trying to do this at a kind of like, the best time to do it. We've been through the woods, obviously you've seen that, we're just trying to get more activity now out at the front. We've not really had much bad luck yet though, have we? No, so if you've seen last video, uh, last week's video, obviously we've done the ritual, and there should be a lot of bad luck heading our way right now. Oh. That was weird. I felt cold like shiver. I felt something behind me. And then like I just got like proper cold shiver through my spine. I've just had a bit of a cold shiver, but I think it's because it's cold. I could be wrong, but I swear this is where we uh, put them in. <laughs> no, we're definitely different. Mm -hmm. We're really bad at getting lost in here. Have we lost the mirror, Rob? Yeah. Didn't you have no idea where it was going? <laughs> I thought we came in the same direction. We have, but we've gone exactly the same path. Oh, we thought we did. Well, dude, it's like hovering at 1.2. Hovering above 0.2? At 1.2. Maybe this is what the bad luck was, Rob. The bad luck is we're not going to get no activity. I didn't want us to get freaking lost. Let's go back there and just to, just retrace this step. Maybe it's like the Blair Witch Forest where stuff just keeps moving. I can't I can't see any other way that we would have gone. No. I don't recognize uh, recognize any of that or that. Mate, this is freaky. Huh? This is freaky. Well, no, it's just randomly disappeared even though we've just retraced our steps. I mean, I weren't paying attention to where we were going the second time. But I do remember going past that sign. No, we didn't come this way. So there we are trying to break the rules. We can't. Love it. Told you we should have stayed. It's annoying as well because that's where we had the most of the activity. Well, we think so anyway. Yeah. Hey. Keep going down different paths here and then we keep thinking we're going down the same way. Right guys, so that's been our overnight stay in Wailing Woods. Uh, it has gone like four o'clock in the morning now. We've stayed as many hours as we can. Uh, sun is going to be coming up any time now, hopefully. Uh, the actual area where it says that you hear the Wailing Woman and the horse and cat, we've picked nothing up. Uh, and it's quite interesting that after we did the ritual, we was getting like nothing, which is maybe a bit of bad luck, who knows. Uh, but it seemed to be quite quiet in there. We got a lot of activity to start with. So we did get quite a bit of activity early on the EMF reader, uh, but we couldn't really pinpoint what that is or what uh, what was going on there. It basically just fluctuates up and down, but we didn't get a value more than five, really. Uh, but it was at one point a really solid reading, but that was, unfortunately, as much as we've had all night here, 
Uh, anyway, this has been our first overnight video. If you've enjoyed it, let us know. We would like to do more overnight videos in some abandoned buildings and things like that. But until we do that, as always, remember to embrace the unknown.